Guys, this is the Champlain Tower South in Surfside, Miami, Florida in USA. And last June 24, 2021, around 1.25 a.m., it suddenly collapsed, killing a lot of people. Today, we will watch what are the possible reasons for the collapse of this building. And we will take a look who is the owner and developer of this building. And we will also watch what is the history of Miami area in terms of building and structure collapses because it's not the first time that a structure in Miami collapsed. So stay tuned in to find out more. The exact name of the building is Champlain Tower South. It is called Champlain Tower South because there is also a Champlain Towers North and Champlain Towers East. Same developer, same type of construction, and almost same architect and same engineers. Surfside is the name given to the town where the Champlain Tower is located. Surfside is a beachside community composed primarily of residential buildings. It was completed in the year 1981, around 40 years from now. The developer was Natel Construction. This developer has been out of service for around 20 years. And the leader of this company is this man, Nathan Ryber, who died in 2014. The architectural design was by William and Friedman and Associates. And the structure was designed by Britterman, Horado and Associates, consulting engineers. Champagne Towers was made by primarily using reinforced concrete and glass for its windows. One of the reasons for the collapse of its building is the addition of a penthouse on the top of the building. Complaints have been filed against the developer by a group of Surfside residents because the penthouse being built was in direct violation of the town's 12-story height limit. Professionals and town board members have tried to stop the construction of the penthouse. But the then mayor, Mitchell Kinzer, have approved the construction of the penthouse. Another reason for the collapse of this building is the settlement of the soil below the building. Maybe because a few meters below this building is a soil that is mostly wet all throughout the year because of its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. Shown here is the velocity map over Miami Beach from the year 1993 to 1999. This is the location of the Champlain Towers and it indicates that the location of the building has been sinking by 2 mm per year. From the year 1993 to 1999, it means the building has sinked by 12 mm. According to Mattis Levy, a consulting engineer and author of the book Why Buildings Fall Down and even settling could have stressed the building's structure. There are multiple columns and then some columns start to settle because the soil below is sinking, maybe due to the soil erosion or water washing away the soil below. And that an even settlement will cause the floor and the beams above to collapse. Another reason for collapse is failure to replace the waterproofing below the pool deck and entrance drive. As early as 2018, Morabito Consultants has discovered problems for this building. The entrance drive and pool deck has been laid on a flat structure, which is a very bad practice when talking about waterproofing. Areas that are affected by water should always have a slope and not on a flat surface or a flat structure. The maintenance manager William Espinosa was interviewed and he said that during high tides, water would flood through the basement and the foundation. And they always have two large pumps to try and remove the water every time it floods the basement. He said that salt water would flood through the basement of the building for days and would go up to about 2 feet deep. Espinosa raised his concern to the building manager and was told not to worry about it. Well, look at what happened because he didn't worry about it. Another reason for the collapse is the reduction of seal reinforcements for the column to slab connection. 
Shown here is the actual photo of the reinforcements after the collapse. But as per structural drawings, the steel reinforcements should have been more than the actual. The actual photo at the left shows that only two reinforcing bars have been used, while the 3D at the right shows that four pieces of reinforcing bars should have been used at the columns. Also, the consultant discovered a lot or abundant spalling concrete, meaning concrete that is chipping away or being removed from the beams, columns, and walls of the basement. Some of the columns have exposed rebars, rebars that are deteriorating or being pulverized by rust. Some also say that this shiny tall building beside Champlain Tower South was one of the reasons it collapsed. Maybe because during the construction of this tall building, the structural integrity of the foundation of the Champlain Towers was also disturbed. Vibrations due to the construction of a new building can also affect the structural integrity of the beams, columns, walls, and also the soil stability of the existing building. Now let's take a look at the history of building collapse in Miami area. We have this timeline here and we start in August 5, 1974, where a building that housed the Drug Enforcement Agency's Miami Field Division suffered a pancake failure, killing seven people. A pancake failure is a type of building collapse wherein all of the vertical supports such as columns collapses or fails and allow all the floors to collapse on top of each other. The reason for the collapse of this building is resurfacing or putting a new coating on the rooftop area that causes additional load on the building structure. And they also found salt combined in the sand that is used to make concrete for the building structure. Salt is very dangerous to a building structure because salt turns the reinforcing steel bars of the beams, columns, and buildings into rust that causes structures to collapse. In 2012, four men were killed when a parking garage at Miami-Dade College West Campus suddenly collapsed. In 2013, the deck of a popular North Bay Village restaurant, the Shopper's Waterfront Grill, collapsed, sending all the people plunging into Biscayne Bay. It was determined that no building inspection was done during or after the deck was constructed. In 2018, a condominium building named Marlboro House Condominium along Collins Avenue, just around 4 kilometers from the Champlain Tower South, also collapsed. This is due to a mistake in the control demolition of the said building, wherein a 46-year-old construction worker died from the accident. In the same year, 2018, a pedestrian bridge in Florida International University also collapsed. Eight vehicles were crushed below the collapsed pedestrian bridge. One construction worker and five people from the vehicles were killed. The collapse was caused by an engineer's design flaw. Months later, in the Christmas Eve of 2018, a balcony of the Dora Condo building suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a structural failure when four people went to the balcony. Thankfully, no one has died from the collapse of this balcony. We can clearly understand now that uneven soil settlement, poor waterproofing maintenance, deviating or not putting enough steel reinforcements, and salt water flooding the foundation could be the reasons for the collapse of a building. Until now, it is not determined what is the exact cause of the building collapse. But knowing all these poor construction practices, and poor maintenance practices happen in this building, it is an assurance that disaster is just waiting to happen. Thank you for watching Architects Tools.